October 8, 2019 was the day we left for Taiwan to take part in our first international workshop in Taitung, Taiwan. After five long hours on the plane, we finally arrived at Taipei, the capital of Taiwan. After our arrival, we were immediately welcomed by Mr. Bian Chang and Miss Jean. Tired of the long journey, we headed straight to the hotel and take some rest. On October 9, we went to the airport in order to fly to Taitung. While waiting for our plane, we had sandwiches and made for breakfast. After we arrived in Taitun, we headed to the National Taitun University and started our workshop there. A small museum room that we could visit was located right next to our workshop room. The workshop began with prayers made by a priest from the indigenous community so that the workshop could run smoothly. During break time, we got to know the other participants and gather in groups. Participants were coming from Malaysia, Philippines, Taiwan and Indonesia. During the chat, we were provided with various and delicious snacks. After that, we had lunch and started the first class at this workshop. For dinner, we were provided with various and delicious Asian food as soup, yellow rice, whole bread and many other dishes. On October 10, the second day of the workshop, we were provided breakfast and immediately started classes that taught us about the Austronesian speaking people and indigenous people of Taiwan. After the class, we headed to the Atalan village where we meet the Atalan people and learn some of their traditional songs and dance. We also visited Atalan Cape, a land of the Atalan tribe. We faced gorgeous scenery and got to capture this moment. After that, we visited the Museum of Indigenous People that exhibited various historic items. When I arrived, we and our respective groups went to the night market. Night market was crowded. There you can find lots of tasty Taiwanese food. We also went to Tiehua village which was decorated with beautiful lanterns. On October 11, the third day of the workshop, we begin with two classes. At lunch, we went to visit the National Taitung University Library and Information Center. We could immediately see the lake located behind the building.
On the second floor, there was a balcony where students can relax and study while enjoying the lake view. We went back and continued the classes. For dinner, we eat with our respective groups. And got time to buy some souvenirs. On October 12, the day 4 of the workshop, early in the morning, we went straight to Yusan National Park. Before climbing, we witnessed a ritual prayer of the Bunin tribe so that our trade can run safely. There were several bridges that provide radiant natural scenery. During our climbing, we took short breaks and went on our journey. After that, we finally arrived to our goal, the rebuilt Bunun House. But before being allowed to enter this house, we perform a ritual prayer to honor the spirit of the house. This building is actually a replica of the original traditional house of the Bunun tribe. Inside, there are two fireplaces, one on the right and one on the left. The rooms are located by the fireplace and the building uses stone and After that, we all gather next to the house and open a question and answer session. So went to Shengfeng Waterfall. And after climbing, we went straight to the restaurant to get some dinner. This was the last day of the workshop. The day started with classes and presentation from each participant from morning until evening. That night, we went to an indigenous people restaurant for a farewell party. The next day, we went to the airport and fly to Taipei. Once arrived, we went to Dan Park. The atmosphere of the park was peaceful, stunning and relaxing. Also went to the Taipei Grand Mosque and had lunch at the halal restaurant next to this one. 
Many Indonesian people were eating there. After lunch, we went to Ximending. This place was huge and crowded. We also got the chance to visit Taipei 101 and ended with a dinner together at the mall. October 15 was the day we all returned to Indonesia and gathered again with our beloved family and friends. Thanks to this workshop, we had a great opportunity to discover and have a lot of new experiences, new friends, discover new atmospheres, and it's all thanks to the people that organized this event and that gave us the opportunity to attend this workshop. This was for sure a memorable and unforgettable experience for us. Thank you all for watching.